What money? I don't have any money. Why are you lying to us? You got nowhere to run to. Please don't hurt me, please. Please don't hurt me. Please. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please. Wake up. Wake up. Where are they? Oh, I think you're just having a bad dream. They were so real. Ah, come on. The others are waiting for us. Let's go. Come on, let's go. You're just having a bad dream. I don't know what's happening to him. Brian, are you okay? I'll only be okay if I know the CID and the GSC are protecting us. I told you he's going mad. Someone needs to go speak to his grandparents. I think there's a really big problem. I don't have a problem. Diana, will you talk to your grandparents? And tell them what? They wouldn't believe me. They just say I'm making things up. Sonita, will you go speak to his grandparents? Why me? Someone else can do that. But I thought you were the group's president. We regrouped, but he didn't vote. I'm not the president. But I thought that makes you automatically the president. Mm -mm. So you don't want to be the president? Why not? I've been the president for the longest time. I think it's time for someone else to do that. Wow, I wish our president was like you. They just hold all the power and refuse to let go. Even when they're old and free, they still don't want to give up power. You mean all this time we've been operating without a president? That's dangerous. President, fast. Do we really? I mean, if we've been operating for the last couple of months without one, then clearly things can run by themselves. I think so too. I found you like that and it's been good. But I still feel that we need someone to represent us. Yeah, like now, Brian is losing it and someone needs to go speak to his grandparents. But then there's no one to go or even appoint someone to do so. But don't we usually just decide things among ourselves? Yes, we do, but there are so many things you've left hanging just because you don't have a president. So, guys, have we identified any other areas that need our attention, especially this coming holiday? No, but we can talk about that some other time. Right, guys, I'm off. off. Me too, wait for me. Uh, but, guys, the minutes. That is why I'd love us to have a president. Yes, yeah, someone to steer us in the right direction when we're slacking off. I still don't think we need a president. Where was I at this meeting? You were busy trying to get to Amish's home. But he found that all the windows and doors were shut and they had upped and gone to India. Poor James. Please let us know when you've had the chance to save enough to get to India. I'm not going to stand here and get teased by people like you. Least of all by guys who've never had girlfriends. Seriously, you guys have never had girlfriends. Another reason why we need a president is to help us stay on the topic of the day. Today's topic of the day is why we need to have a president. I want a president who I can trust. I would like a president who is fair. I'd love a president who is responsible. I would like an obedient president. That doesn't make sense. It's not the president to obey the people. It's the people to obey the president. He doesn't necessarily need to obey the people. All he has to do is to follow the rules set out for him as a leader. Okay, so wants to be a president? All right, I'll give it a shot. What? You? I mean, even James wants to be president. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he told me that before you guys started teasing about Amish. So, that means we have two presidents. No, it means you have two presidential candidates. So, do we vote? Uh, yes, but the candidates must campaign. Then the big debate. I think tomorrow would be a good day for the debate, then the voting will follow. Are we all in agreement? Yes. Yeah. Yeah.
Guys, I was thinking maybe we should allow Freddy to vote because he's been involved in so many junction teens activities. I see no problem. Yeah, me too. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so Brian, will you inform James of the new developments? Let me go find him. Okay. You're the JT's next president. Who? Me? Yes, you. But I didn't say I want to be president. No one else volunteered. But look on the bright side. Once you're the Junction Teens president, you'll get your mind off a mish. I guess it's worth a shot. Great stuff, eh? And you'd come to your senses. So when do I get sworn in? Um... Technically, the elections are tomorrow. There's another candidate. So tomorrow you vote. But of course, everyone will vote for you, eh? So I have to go through a process? I'm really not interested. James, James, and explain. Walk me home as I explain. I see. Hey, Diana, congratulations. I have the good news. What do you want, Amos? Nothing. I just want for you to be happy. I'm as happy as it can be. And that's where all the problem is. What do you mean? I'll cut to the chase. Some people don't want you happy. They don't want you to become president. Yeah, right. You think I'm bluffing? Why do you think they were so quick to accept Freddy to come and vote? Because they know he'll vote for James. It's all a plan. They smile with you, but they really don't want your best interests at heart. Huh? I... I'm only doing it because you put my name forward. Otherwise... Ah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. But you relax and take it easy. Just think about your speech. I'm going to do a bit of campaigning. She's my cousin. I live in the same house as her. I'm assuring you, once she's president, she's going to start bossing us around. Okay, I'm sorry if it comes out rude, but shouldn't you be telling us what your candidate James will do for the Junction Teens if he's elected president and not bad things about Diana? I couldn't have said it better. Give us detail, not bad mouthing the other opponent. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to start. Please settle down. Thank you. We're gathered here today as Junction Teens to exercise our democratic right on voting for a president. We have two presidential candidates. Each one will take one minute to make a presentation on the topic. Should a president be kind or hardworking? Then the floor will be open for questions. Without much further ado, let me invite our first presidential candidate, Diana. Some people don't want you happy. They don't want you to become president. Some people don't want you happy. They don't want you to become president. Diana, Diana, we're ready for you. How are you, all of you? We are no. fine. First is to say that I'm grateful that you nominated me to be your president. I had my speech written out, ready to be presented, but something happened to me on the way. Something that made me wonder about true friendship. People who smile with you and stab you at your back when you face the other side. When elected the president of Junction Teens, my work will be to ensure that I uproot all those bad seeds and as long as I work with the whole new team and it's people who I can trust, I'll work hard to give them my best. So, there you have it. A president should be hardworking. Kindness is a sign of weakness. Thank you. Right. So, let's welcome our next presidential candidate, James. My name is James. I am hard working and that is why I taught my class. I am a kind person and that's why many of my friends come to me when they have an issue. Without these two qualities, then a president would be redundant. I want to assure you, up to a few minutes ago, I did not want to be president of this group. But when I heard my opponent's speech, I felt a sense of responsibility, of comfort towards you people as a group towards you people as my friends. Vote for me and experience a great journey with me as your leader. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your patience. And I'd also like to thank you for conducting a peaceful election. 
Now, it is my hope that even after the announcement of the winning candidate, we, the Junction teams, are going to give the winning president the much-needed support. Okay, without much further ado, we had eight voters, that's including the presidential candidates who are, who are allowed to vote for themselves. Coming first with seven votes, James. Congratulations. Thanks. I would also like to congratulate you for a great fight, but I was not too sure about your speech. Why? Um, it felt more of like if your voters didn't toe the line, you'd have them out of the Junction Teens team. I felt that way too, but he insisted that the speech was perfect as it was. Who? Never mind. I need to go home and relax. Um, I have a better idea. Why don't I go and get you ice cream for a great fight? Okay, I love ice cream any day. Good, let's go. Oh, hey, 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 wait for me. Commiserations, but who would listen to Amos? How did you know? You know, a good leader always knows who to trust. <laughs> <laughs>